you could be in a place and it just gives you very chaotic feelings hi thank you so much for tuning in i'm so excited that you're here my name is akini and happy new year happy new year i hope that your start to the new year is beautiful you're hopeful you're enthusiastic for the things that god has in store for you i am as well the last time i tried recording it was just i tried two weeks in a row and it wasn't working so i figured maybe that's a sign to just take a break in today's video i'm going to talk about how 2023 did not go as i had planned so where do i start let me take you back to this time last year i was hopeful enthusiastic about my prospects to travel the world I had just come from visiting my sister in Canada the December you know before that year I wrote my New Year New Year goals ahead of time then we went to New Year service where we do declarations as we usher in the new year and I had all of my um, goals written so I came back home very hopeful I didn't even have money <laughs> yeah I was planning a trip an extensive trip with money that I didn't even have but that's a story for another day so that period of waiting that period of waiting between um, January and end of March was just a season of waiting but the good thing was it was a season of waiting as I worked like it wasn't you know there are seasons of waiting that you're just waiting there's really nothing you can do you just have to sit in the weights but then there are seasons of waiting where you can do other things and the results will come as you work so i feel like sometimes when we're unable to differentiate those two but i personally believe that different seasons of waiting so anyway fast forward end of march is here and my stomach is just like turning I rarely get anxious most times when I get anxious it's when I'm about to embark on something that just scares me so I was not sleeping properly I was just like I did not doubt that my decision was right I was just anxious for the unknown even though the Bible tells us not to be anxious but the human side of me just picked up considering I was not telling my bosses that I was taking unpaid leave I was asking them not asking I was actually telling them that this is it friends this is it I could come back but this is it for now so anyways I go to Japan fantastic experience so dreamy you know fast month of travel Japan's a bit pricey Tokyo is very pricey so I'm here spending money I'm waking up going to take walks Ah, just living this dreamy life, going to restaurants, going to cafes, um, trying different places, working some. It was it just felt so dreamy. It really was very dreamy. And then I go to the Philippines. I stay there also a month. So I think my I'm sorry, there's construction that's going on. Um across the street i really bear with me i i really needed to make this video <laughs> i'm sorry so i go to the philippines and i think that's where my challenges start to happen setbacks if you may mostly monetary you know that's when my bank was now flagging my transactions and when they flag it they block your card and when they block it because of the time difference if it happens in the morning you gotta wait <laughs> who I have stories maybe you're trying to check into a hotel and now you have to wait until until 7 8 p.m. to be able to talk to a customer rep I did have a credit card but again in this in that time someone used my credit card to make a transaction for makeup and some stuff i had only used it at two locations the supermarket 
and at the one of the hotels I was staying in so I called the the credit card company and they canceled the card and now I was down to uh, two cards but I don't know why I wasn't using that anyways so I was limited from a what I could use standpoint oh because the other one is my business card my business account that's kind of when I started to feel tired I was like why getting tired so fast you know I think it's from like six weeks of travel like every day you're doing something every day you're doing something you're traveling across the countries you know flying to another part of the country and that can become very tiring very very fast so when I got to Thailand I just wanted to rest like I just wanted to sit back and rest like I wasn't even going to like see places do things no if I was spending the entire 30 days just sitting and sleeping and resting I was okay with that because my body was literally telling me you need to rest and so rest I did I went out and you know met people talked to people and had different interactions and I think from one of my interact I don't think from one of my interactions you know somehow I decided to stay I think it's one of those where you talk to people and the the conversations now just start to ring and people inspire you I mean I've met people who have inspired me in so many ways so people inspire you and you start to think about things differently and in that moment I was like what about if I try to do this and try to learn this and try to do this okay what does that actually mean oh I guess it means that I could stay here longer Oh, okay so we're choosing to stay longer what does that mean you know you need to figure out the immigration situation you need to figure out where you'll stay because one of the things I quickly quickly learned that the 30 day stays at hotels or Airbnbs is expensive like accommodation was one of my biggest expenses so I was like okay I mean this whole like 30 30 30 days here 30 days here I'm beginning to get tired plus my routine was thrown off Plus my routine was thrown off quite badly and I thrive off of the routines I've said the morning routine the evening routine uh, they help me be productive they help me be like joyful and have peace and all these things you know journaling um, just quiet time and, and and so many other different things so I felt like a part of me was like missing or something it was just I felt like I was just operating in a in a non-complete version of myself so for that reason and and the others that i've just stated i said okay looks like we're gonna stay here longer okay so i go and look for apartments and i find an apartment and my stomach just starts to like tan because initially when i made the plan the plan was go to japan go to the philippines go to um Thailand go to Bali 30 30 30 days uh, very you know with variations of a few days here and there then go back to the States stay for like two months go to South Africa then home then do like in Q1 of, of 24 do like a, um, you know the East Africa area do Rwanda do Uganda do Tanzania that was the plan Clearly at that point the plan was like thrown off the window and now here I was and the thing is with such a plan you can quit anytime you want or you don't want to go to Bali okay let's go back to the States and maybe get a job or maybe like just you know like you're not like you're you're very elusive and I, f I feel like that's kind of how we live as society today we're very elusive with things you know oh you know if I don't feel like this then I'm doing this if I don't feel like this then I'm doing this I'm, I'm guilty of that in some respects but now me getting an apartment in a foreign country that was also not two dollars was now putting me in a place where I had to honor my lease I had to actually now pay rent to someone and it wasn't even about the money aspect was just about now i have to be accountable to someone like what now i have to like 
think about paying rent every end of the month and i'm glad i i received that accountability or i received that responsibility and it's funny because i'm just coming from being super responsible for so many years and i just needed to take a break and rest and just live life but then now here i put myself into a space of being accountable again but that was the blessing that has been giving quite honestly because so many things were able to really kind of pan out of that situation one of them was i was able to build a sense of community moving from country to country you could meet people but because you're not having extended intensive conversations with them over time you're not really building anything meaningful but now being in thailand for so long has enabled me to just build a sense of community at church with friends outside of church and we've done so many things we've uh, we haven't traveled outside the country yet but we've uh, a friend of mine and i did a marathon well we were in the marathon um in november i cooked at a church function i woke up at four in the morning i was very joyful and happy to do that um i've taken ho I've, I've partaken in hobbies that i enjoy uh, I actually even had my Thai class this morning and I'm partaking in another hobby that I always wanted to do. My goodness, ah, mm, mm, this one's going to surprise everyone. I'm not talking about it just yet, but this is going to be like on the opposite side of everything that people might know about me or at least how I, I, I carry myself or present myself. I think I do need a little bit of a balance um, and just the feeling of, of of being in a place where while you're not from there you feel at peace because you could be in a place and it just gives you very chaotic feelings like your spirit is not settled you don't feel settled but in this specific case i think even one of the reasons why i was willing to you know stay longer was i just felt at peace does not mean i have not gone through challenges friends you know because that is the rhythm of life we have this thing the balance mode of good things and then also the negative things and that's just a culmination of what life is you know at the end of the day we pray for protection and god has been more than good enough to me protection help and all these things and god does really carry us through and i'll share in so many other videos of how he's carried me through this entire experience i don't know if i'm digressing where am i oh yeah um so <laughs> i don't want to digress so i think i feel like i'm lost I, I, I thought things were supposed to go a certain way, but God had other plans. And the whole year has just been a teachable moment for me. Patience, like just waiting on God. You know, when my cards, when my cards, um, when I didn't have, oh, oh, yeah, speaking of challenges, I don't know if I was gonna do like a drawbacks video. But speaking of challenges, the only card I had was swallowed by the ATM machine. <laughs> Why? And it's funny because when it happened, I, I was I called my brother like a few hours later. I had come back to the bank. He was one of those ATMs attached to the bank. I came back to the bank when it was now open because when it happened, it was really early in the morning. And they told me they couldn't do anything about it because they couldn't verify my identity. I mean, in hindsight, from talking to other people, I should have gone back maybe with my passport and pressed a little further. Maybe they would have done something. But now I had to operate cardless. And my family had to send me money through Western Union. And there's another story of how that was just a hot mess. <sighs> so I had to sit down and... Maybe this should be a whole other video because 
some of those obstacles were just very intense and it had to force me in being in waiting periods like intense waiting periods where you're like okay god i leave it on to you like what so now we're just going to drink tea and bread or just go to bed and the thing about it is i'm very i'm a very resilient person so things like those don't like scare me or anything but it's just that you still have to wait and you're human in the waiting anyway i think that might be another video because i was not the only waiting um moment and i always feel like it's encouraging to hear of people's waiting stories so that might be a whole other thing but long story short this had to be the blessing that i really needed i didn't i may not have really looked at it that way like being put in a space of accountability would lead me to really like you know grow in so many ways but it really did and um, I'm, i'm really thankful because I look at I look at things differently a bit you know I enjoy do not get me wrong I enjoy the whole moving around thing I really do hmm. but I think I think just that I needed that to stabilize my life to really go back to the basics and and see what was missing and try and work on it pray about it and and wait and work also work work on things my business you know stabilize that and all these things so i i i share this video because you know sometimes we think that we have to do things a certain way uh but if we feel the spirit speak to us to really pause or not now or take this different route instead route instead then we have to really listen to that soft voice because this initial path could lead us far but the soft voice could lead us even farther or this initial voice could be taking us to a dead end and the thing about a dead end is yeah you can turn around and try and find your direction but what if you find it's a dead end and then you just get tired and then you don't even have the energy to try and find the new direction that's very possible so i hope that video encouraged you i'd really like to know in the comment sections do you have any travel plans for 20 um for 2024 i'd love to read about those in the comment section below it could be travel plans for long term travel or you know like short travels here and then and then coming back to work i'd really really love to read about those in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye